Well, Missouri voters will decide tomorrow whether to add a new license to build a Lake of the Ozarks casino. WGEM's Missouri Capitol Bureau reporter Hannah Falcon double downs on both the pros and cons. The Lake of the Ozarks is a popular tourist destination here in Missouri, but this time of year when there's a chill in the air, it starts to look like a ghost town. The sponsors of Amendment 5 say that there is something that could help that, a casino. The Bagnell Dam is crowded with tours during the summer, now quiet and empty in early November. Tourism expectedly slows in the colder months, but Amendment 5 promises a year-round attraction if approved by voters. They don't have a convention facility. Uh, they don't have a, a year round recreational facility and they are lacking in hotel space. And this proposal would solve all three of those problems. Yes, on five spokesperson John Hancock tells me the addition of a casino would create year round tourism in the lake area. A yes vote on Amendment 5 would do several things. It would allow for a 14th casino license in Missouri. The state constitution currently only allows for 13. It would also change the constitution to allow for the casino to be built at the lake, since they can currently only be built along rivers. The local community at the Lake of the Ozarks needs the people of Missouri to vote for this in order for them to have this economic development that they so desperately need. Bollies, the group sponsoring this amendment, already has a mock-up of the casino they would like to build. They want to build it here at a lot off Highway 54 that right now is just a quarry. However, even if Amendment 5 passes, Bollies is not guaranteed the new casino license. The state would go through the normal bidding process before awarding the license. Although the Lake Ozark City Council has expressed support for the amendment, the Missouri Gaming Association is against it because it says voters have already spoken on the matter 30 years ago. In a statement, the association tells me the Missouri Gaming Association led an effort to cap the number of casinos in the state. We do not support opening casino gaming to an additional waterway, nor believe that the Missouri Constitution needs to be changed for any gaming issues. If Amendment 5 passes, it's expected to bring in $2 million to the lake area every year and contribute $14 million in tax revenue designated for early childhood literacy. Reporting at the Lake of the Ozarks, I'm Hannah Falcon, WGEM News.